class always found games to play in the schoolyard but there was no extra equipment to play on nothing to add to their fun but one day at the toy shop oh look at that that box it's got a jungle gym inside it's got swings and climbing things wouldn't that be fun to play on there's lots of boxes you must have to put it together it's the best jungle gym money can buy. What if we had this in our playground? This school doesn't have that sort of money. It costs a lot a jungle gym like that. Aww. Oh, you're not going to give up that easily, are you? Molly? We could save up our pocket money. You'll need a little more than that, I'm afraid. Hmm. Millie? We could sell something. Yeah, yes. Idea. Any ideas? Yeah. Biscuits? We can make biscuits and sell them. A biscuit factory. Chloe. I think biscuits are a bad idea. Huh? Bad idea? Yeah. Let's sell a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Humphrey, if you have something intelligent to say, put your hand up. Sorry, Miss Blythe. Indeed. Chloe, you have another suggestion. I think we should make chocolates. Mmm, chocolates. <laughs> well, shall we have a vote? Who wants to make chocolates to raise money for the jungle gym? Biscuits? Well, biscuits it is. Hmm. It was your idea, Millie. You'd better come up with a plan. Well, um, Alf is good with numbers. He could work out how many biscuits we need to make. Yes. And I know where to get a good recipe. And I know all about ovens. Good, Poppy. Yes, everyone should pitch in. Sophie's careful, and so is Chloe. So, um, they could buy all the ingredients from the shop. I'm not helping. I'm going to do my chocolates. But if you don't all work together, it'll be harder. I can make the money all by myself. Well, then, I wish you good luck. You'd all best get cracking, then. Yeah. Yeah. I could yeah. 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 Aunt Maud had a fine biscuit recipe. Just a minute. But Molly needed Millie to come with her. Sometimes Aunt Maud could be a bit, well, snippy. Here's the recipe. Thanks, Aunt Maud. You're very kind. <laughs> Little sticks. Sophie, I've got a job for you. Here's a list of everything we need to make the biscuits. But Sophie can't carry it all on her own. Now that Chloe isn't helping, I'll help her. But you are going to do the oven. I can do the oven. How hard can it be? So Sophie and Poppy collected all the ingredients they needed for the biscuits. Hi, Chloe! As soon as Sophie and Poppy were back, the real biscuit making began. Oh, Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> While Millie's mum watched Jack carefully put the biscuits in the oven, Chloe was working hard too, making her chocolates. Two cups of cocoa. A cup of peanuts. Even though she had no help, Chloe didn't seem to be having any problems at all. Not like over at Millie's house. <coughs> oh no! Be careful, they'll be hot. They're burned. <gasps> the oven was on too high. Can't use those. They're wasted. Oh, oh no! no. Sorry. Maybe Poppy should have done the oven. Don't worry, Jack. Yeah, we'll just make some more. Yeah. But my sons say that we haven't got enough money for any more ingredients. But we won't need any more ingredients, as long as we don't burn any more biscuits. I'll help you with the oven. Then we'll both be good at it. But we'll need to sell every biscuit we make. George! Now, George was a very good salesman. He persuaded the cafe owner to sell some biscuits. And the bookshop owner to sell some biscuits. And even the pet shop owner agreed to sell biscuits to his customers. But could the class make biscuits without burning them? Here comes the next batch. Are they all right? Let me see. Perfect. Good 
one, Jack. Poppy helped. Let's make another batch while these get finished. Meg, get ready! Now Meg was meticulous, always good with details, so she spread the icing. Then Tom had an eye for the middle. He placed the jelly beans just right. And Humphrey, well, Humphrey took care of quality control. Mm. <coughs> Finally, Elizabeth, who had the neatest writing, did all the packaging and labelling. Oh no! George has just found out. Somebody else wants to buy the Jungle Gym. Oh. <gasps> if the Toy Shop Man doesn't get a biscuit money by the end of the week, he's going to sell the Jungle Gym to someone else. Oh, let's give up. We can eat all the biscuits. No, we just have to work harder. Let's finish making the rest of the biscuits. Poppy and Sophie, you have to start selling what we already have. Hello, Mr Limpy. Hello, Poppy. Sophie, what can I do for you? Would you like to buy some biscuits? We're trying to get enough money to buy a jungle gym for our school. Oh, I just bought some chocolates from Chloe. She said she was doing the same thing. Oh. Despite little setbacks, Thank you, Farmer Haggerty. everyone worked hard to sell all the biscuits in time for the end of the week. There you are. Thank you, Aunt Maud. Mm. <laughs> Not as good as I make. I'll have to eat them all, see if they get any better. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ferryman. Nice. Come away, Alf. Harry. We've still got a few places to visit if you're going to sell all those biscuits. Mm. Love these biscuits. Mm. Will you be getting any more of these biscuits? Mmm, biscuits. The end of the week came quickly. Everyone waited at the toy shop for Harry to arrive with all the money they'd raised to buy the jungle gym. Hoping they'd raised enough. There he is! Come on, Harry! Well, I can see you've all worked very hard, but I'm sorry to say that there isn't enough money here to buy the jungle gym. But we sold all the biscuits we made. Now, don't be disappointed. You should all be very proud of yourselves, working together so hard, even if there isn't enough money for the jungle gym. Well, I've got some more money. <gasps> I made this money all by myself, without help from anyone. Well done, Chloe. Sorry, but huh? this still isn't enough. Aww. Couldn't get around to sell all my chocolates. Maybe you should have worked in with the others. It's your fault we can't have the jungle gym. Humphrey. Sorry. At least you tried. We all tried. Very hard. <gasps> you wouldn't be interested in what's left of Chloe's chocolate as the rest of the payment, would you? <gasps> Sorry, don't like chocolate. Besides, there isn't nearly enough. Aww. Well, if you made another batch of those tasty biscuits... <gasps> we don't have any money left to get more ingredients. Aww. Aww. Wait! Could we have a little more time, please? You can have till the end of the day. Uh, but then I'll have to sell the jungle gym to another customer. That's not very much time. We can do it. But we need Chloe's help too. My help? Will you help us get the jungle gym? Okay. Millie's plan was simple. Alf and Harry and George and Miss Blythe raced around town selling the rest of Chloe's chocolates. Working as a team, they soon sold them all and earned just enough money for Sophie and Chloe to buy ingredients for one more batch of biscuits, which Millie and Molly mixed. Jack and Poppy baked, Meg and Tom decorated, and of course, Humphrey tasted. And finally, Elizabeth packaged. Well now, those look like lovely biscuits. And there's still another hour to spare. Looks like you've bought yourselves a jungle gym. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Blythe! Miss Blythe! Miss 
Blight, our customers want to know when's the next delivery of those tasty biscuits? I'm afraid you'll have to make your own from now on. This is a school, not a biscuit factory. But, but we don't have the recipe. Well, you'll have to ask Aunt Maud. Uh, <gasps> Aunt oh. Maud? What's wrong? Well, it's just that, well, she can be a bit, um, snippy. Well, perhaps if you all asked her together. Meanwhile, I've got my class to be looking after. Oh, uh, no. Miss Blythe decided she deserved the very last biscuit. While everyone else enjoyed the jungle gym, they had all worked so hard to get. Make it! Everybody, look